What's up guys, my name is Jonathan. I'm with Mack Hike in Victoria, Texas, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the all new 2023 Hyundai Elantra. This specific model is your N model, so it's gonna come with a 2.0 liter turbocharged engine. You have your LED headlights, all of your red N specific side moldings and front moldings, and your fully blacked out grill. Hyundai does also offer the SE, SEL, and Limited trims, as well as a hybrid option if you want some more fuel efficiency and be a little more environmentally friendly. They come in seven different color options that change based on your trim level. Most people that drive this are gonna be concerned with fuel efficiency and things like that and still want a smooth ride and be a little more budget friendly. Now the N specifically will give you a sportier feel, a little more power that you may want and allow you to get where you need to go quicker and in a more comfortable way. Up here on the top, this right here is for your lane centering technology. So it's gonna read the lines on the road to keep you in the center of the lane the whole time you're driving. If you start veering out, it'll guide you back in or beep at you. And if you let go of the wheel, it'll actually alert you and tell you to grab the wheel again. So the 2023 Elantra N is gonna be set on 19 inch rims backed by 14.2 inch ventilated front brake rotors. As you go down the vehicle, you'll see the different body angles and curves to give it a more sportier look along with more of the red in molded trim. Your sunroof here, will ventilate and not also slide back. Now this vehicle does have keyless entry as well. So if you have the key in your pocket, like I do, you grab the door, touch it, and it'll just pop unlock for you. Here on the mirror, you will have your blind spot monitor. So it's a triangle with an exclamation point in it that'll light up for you if a vehicle is in your blind spot and you don't see it. As you flow to the back of the vehicle, rear wheel, gas cap, and then everything flows into the tail end of it. So here at the rear end of the vehicle, you have your tail lights. They will run continuously across. The strip here will connect and make everything flow as one to give it a more sportier look and as well as being a little more futuristic for you. On the back of it, you will see that it says Elantra as well as has your in badge. As we move down, you have your rear parking sensors here. They will beep at you and alert you as you get closer and closer to objects that are behind you. <clears throat> your in specific bumper with the red trim as well as your in specific dual exhaust. As we walk around it, you'll see your, your sportier wing on the top of it. Give it a little more flow. As we open the trunk, you have your support brace to give you more integrity in the event of an accident. And then down here, you have your tire mobility kit, and I will get into that to show you how to use it here shortly. Now, Hyundai does offer roadside assistance. However, there are instances and occurrences in life where calling the roadside assistance number on the window over there may not be feasible for you. So in the event that you need something more immediate, Hyundai does offer a first aid kit that comes with various things you may need to help yourself out. Also, because they do not have a spare, they offer a tire mobility kit. It's a lot easier to use. First, you'll grab this, and then if you do forget the way to do it, it does offer you some instructions on here. You plug this into here, then you get your cord. This will plug into this side, and then this will screw onto the tire and then everything is powered. If you go up to the center console, there's a 12 volt standard car charger outlet. You plug it into there and then you just move to whatever tire you need to air up. Now, if you guys follow me inside, I will show you the newly redesigned 2023 Elantra interior and all that comes with. Welcome back. We're inside the 2023 Hyundai Elantra now. On the interior, you have your suede center seats with your leather trim on the outside. Now the end specifically comes with these racier looking seats. You flow over here to your center screen. You tap your driver profile. If you want to change your user, it'll bring up all your available ones. Select yours, hit confirm, and then it'll bring everything up. All of your different options are here. So you have your in mode, which we'll get into a little more later when we drive it. Your navigation screen is going to be here, as well as you can kind of customize what you have on this side. So if you want navigation smaller, time, whatever you decide to do, your phone connections and everything like that, you'll set up through here. Here is your radio option. You also have a quiet mode. Just silence everything, make it a little quieter in the car once you're driving. And then valet mode, which is gonna restrict your function. So if you ever have to give the vehicle to a valet, they can't go in and change all kinds of stuff. Now, one of the coolest things about Hyundai is you do have different driver profiles. Now we're already logged into one, but if you ever need to change it, you tap this icon here change user and it'll bring up all your available ones. You're always gonna be driver one if you're the owner of the vehicle. Once you purchase and we go through the blue link process, we'll actually set up your account and then it'll show your name 
right there. So we hit confirm, it's gonna bring up all your menu options. Now, the way you customize everything is through the app. So once you have the app on your phone, you open it up, you can change your profile picture. That app will give you updates on your, uh, how much fuel you have in the vehicle, if you need an oil change anytime soon, as well as any recalls you may have. For the app as well, your profile will save all your remote start settings. So whenever you start the vehicle, you can have the AC set to whatever temperature you want. If you want the heated seats on, whatever the case may be, you can have that going for yourself. So one of the first things you're gonna wanna do after you purchase a new Hyundai is pair your phone. So from the screen, you'll tap phone. It'll let you know to turn your Bluetooth on. So go ahead and access that. It'll pop up as whatever the model is. So this being an Elantra N, it will show up as Elantra N. Make sure your passcode matches on your phone and the car. Hit pair on your phone. Then you can allow your contacts to sync and it'll update all your contacts here as they download. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is with this model specifically, some of the Hyundais will have wireless CarPlay. This one's gonna be wired. So you will plug your phone in here, plug it into there, and then your screen will change if you want it to, to allow Apple CarPlay where it'll look similar to like an iPad and everything will be done through Siri and all your compatible apps will pop up. If you ever have any questions about your vehicle and your salesperson isn't there to help you, just go to your screen, you'll slide one time to the left and your user manual will pop up there. You'll scan the QR code with your phone and then it'll pull up all your features and you can search whatever you need to find. As you move down here, you do have buttons for each individual function. So if you want map, it'll bring up your different navigation options so you can search. You can access your radio, your media options. So if you have your phone connected or you wanna do sounds in nature, which has a few different options for you, like rain, sea waves, whatever the case may be. You can power everything down by pushing this. Then you can change your track. If you have music playing, skip a song. And then this button here with the star is your favorite button. So whatever you want it on, if you want it on Bluetooth radio in mode, you can program to that button. As you go down on this model, you do have dual climate control. Scroll your temperature there, speed up your fan speed here and then you do have heated seat controls on this model as well. As we move down, you have your car charger outlet. That's where you're gonna plug your tire, tire mobility kit into, a USB outlet, and then a fast charging USB outlet, as well as a wireless charger there in the center. This is your gear shift here. Then you can cycle through your drive modes with this button. So you have normal, sport, and eco, and then your camera button. So once the vehicle's run, you can actually push that and open up your camera for yourself. Now, if you wanna pair your favorite button, there's a star on the steering wheel. You push that, it'll take you to everything. So whatever you want it on, if you want to change your button to where it's navigation, or you wanna just go to the end mode, you'll do it here. It'll access all of it for you. And then you can actually program this star button here on the steering wheel and this one to separate things. So the filled in star, you push here and it'll open it up there. So if you want your quiet mode, your radio, cancel route, reroute, whatever you decide to do. Now for this one, just tab above it and then you can set it to where it's your phone, your blue link or your quiet mode, whatever the case may be. So on the 2023 Elantra, your drive mode button is here in the center. If you push it, you can cycle through a few different ones. There's eco, which is gonna be a little more fuel efficient and shift differently to help you conserve fuel. Just as well, you have your normal, it's just gonna be a normal drive. It's not really gonna do anything differently. It's just be a smooth ride. Now your Sport is gonna let you get to a little bit higher of an RPM before it shifts to give you more acceleration and more power when you want it. The last mode on the 2023 Elantra I'm gonna go over with you is going to be the in mode. You push this button here, it'll change your setup on the center instrument cluster and it'll have oil temperature, engine temperature, turbo and your torque. Now if you go over to the screen here and you tap your in mode, it'll bring up a bunch of different options as far as like your engine temperature and everything like that. If you slide, you can actually customize your different settings. So say you don't want your engine to be as, as much power, you can set it to where it's sport or sport plus or just normal, but you can also independently change your steering settings, suspension settings, transmission settings, and exhaust sound. And if you tap this, it'll show you where all the, the force is being put on the vehicle as you turn and drive down the road. So here on the left side of the steering wheel, you have your voice recognition button, different modes for your Bluetooth audio, phone projection, everything you want it set to. Volume controls are gonna be here on the left side. There's a little lever. Then down here, you can make a call. You push it, it'll answer a call, whatever you need it to do. This button is going to change your drive mode, so it's a secondary to the one in the center. And then if you move to the other side, you can cycle through your different menu options here. So this is for your lane centering when that's on. 
It'll actually read the lines on the road and keep you centered. You go to the next one, it just brings up different options for your engine information. Then your digital speedometer, as well as trip information is right there. Then it will have a compass on there for your navigation. And then your tire pressure monitor is gonna be right there. This button is going to be for your lane centering. So there's a button here on the side. If you push that, you'll see the lane, lane keeping icon pull up. And if you push this, that will bring up a steering wheel that's your lane centering. Now, those won't activate until you get over 40 miles an hour. And then once they do, they'll turn green. So you'll know they're on. Your lane keeping is gonna read the lines on the road and it's only gonna do something if you start veering out or getting close to the line. It'll alert you and then gently steer you back in or just alert you depending on your setting. Your lane centering is gonna actively work the entire time to keep you centered in the lane. And you're not supposed to, but if you're on the road and you're kind of light on the wheel, it'll actually read the lines and guide you around keeping in that same lane you're already in. And then here you have your pause where you can pause your music, whatever you wanna do. And then lastly, you have your paddle shifter. So if you wanna take over shifting yourself, you're welcome to. You have your downshift and your upshift right there. Your NGS button is your ingrain shift mode, which we'll get more into once we're on the road. So here up top, you have your SOS button in the event of an accident, your Blue Link button to connect you with Blue Link services, and then your sunroof. So you slide this back. If you push down, it'll vent it if you don't want it open all the way. Now to get it unvented, just push it forward. And then to open the whole panel, just push the button and it will slide back. And then to close it, just push it forward. Welcome back guys. We're in the 2023 Hyundai Elantra and I'm gonna go over some of the features with you and talk to you about how it rides. So right now we're in your eco mode. So it's a little quieter. It'll shift a little smoother and sooner in order to compensate to conserve fuel for you. Then as we go, I'll switch to your normal mode, which is just gonna be a normal drive. You won't notice anything too special about it. It's just gonna shift like a normal car would. And then as I go to the sport, you may have heard the exhaust tick up a little bit and get a little louder and more sporty sounding. And then your steering wheel does get a little bit tighter. Not a lot, but it's slightly tighter. I personally myself drive a Sonata and it's the inline version of the Sonata, so not the in. Mine rides a little more like a, uh, a sedan typically would. You won't hear as much of the exhaust sound. It'd be a lot more just quiet and you won't hear as much from the vehicle. Whereas this one being that it's a sportier version of the Elantra is gonna be a little louder. You're gonna feel the car more and feel the road more because the suspension is tuned differently and your brakes are tuned differently. One difference between this one and some of the other ones is the in NGS mode, so that's unique to the ends, whereas even the inlines won't have the NGS mode. What the NGS mode does for you when you push it, which I'll push it, not, I'm not gonna accelerate crazy because we're on a residential road, but if I push it, you'll hear the exhaust rev up a little more. You get 20 seconds of extra power just to give you more demand when you need it, if you wanna get going, and then you can shift yourself with the paddle shifter there, and you'll hear the exhaust crackle a little bit as it shifts. So on the left side, you have a downshift, shift your gear down you can hear it get a little louder on the right side you just tap it and it shifts up now whenever you come to a complete stop again it'll shift itself back into automatic to where you don't have to worry about shifting yourself and as you're driving once you take over with the paddle shifters it will once you go into a complete stop automatically go back to an automatic version whereas if you ever at any point in driving just want to go to manual all you do is tap one of them and then it'll shift for you so on this vehicle in particular, a couple of the things I like are the fact that the exhaust is a little sportier, sounded a little louder and more responsive and you can hear it and you feel like more one with the vehicle. Um, I also like how the screen and the center screen and your instrument cluster are one continuous piece. It gives it more of a futuristic modern look. Uh, and then I like the styling of the rims on the outside as well, because those rims are unique to specifically the Elantra N. So now I'm going to show you the backup camera and how that functions and how your rear parking sensors will work. So as we ease back, you'll see the guideline changes with you. And then as you get closer and closer to the cone, it'll start beeping here shortly, unless they got turned off. So there's green. And as you get closer, it'll turn red, yellow, and get louder and a more continuous beep. So now I'll pull back forward and it'll stay on when you're going slow like this. So you can still kind of see what's behind you. As you back up, like I said before, the lines will 
follow the path and show you where you're gonna go and where you're gonna end up. So as you go, just keep them in between the parking lines. And then the blue is where the car's wheels are actually at at the moment, not where it's gonna go. And then stop, put it in parking here, good to go. So real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the NGS mode. You push this red button here and it gives you 20 seconds of extra power. So as I give it gas, you'll feel it. And it's just a lot more acceleration. It increases the amount of horsepower that it's gonna put out during that time limit. And then this vehicle does actually come, which a lot of people don't know with launch control. So if you tap your screen on the end mode button and you slide, slide over, you can activate the launch control and then it will just give it a little bit more power. All right, guys, my name is Jonathan Rester at Mack Hike in Victoria, Texas. It's been a pleasure speaking with you guys about the 2023 Hyundai Elantra. I look forward to seeing you next time. Please like and subscribe and give us a call with any questions or you can just leave a comment under the video. Thanks.